Hello, everyone. Okay, so we have here another Amazon Returns bin store haul. Um, it is Tuesday, May 28th, and um, so there's only two bin stores left now in my hometown, and I only went to one today. I just didn't really feel like going to the other one. So this is bin store number one, and I took my nieces with me this time because I had to take them um, to Five Below afterwards because one of them's got a birthday in June, and the sister, uh, the other one, wanted to buy her birthday present. So they came with me, and I found out that one, the younger one, actually liked shopping at the bin store while the older one was a little bored. So she just pushed the cart, you know, watched my purse for me, while me and niece number two um, scoured the bins. So I'm going to go ahead and show this because it's the biggest thing that I found today, and I can't believe that I got it for a dollar. So if you're familiar, if you're in mixed media, um, if you're into it, uh, you would probably know what this is. This is a jelly plate. Sorry for the glare. Um, but yeah, let me make sure that this is in focus though. There we go. So this is a ginormous one. It is, as you can see here, 12 by 14. When I saw it in the bin, I was like, holy crap. I've always wanted a jelly plate, but I just never got around to ordering it on Amazon um, or buying it in store. But it's it's open, but I did not check to see the condition of it. So let me go ahead and take it out. It looks like it, yeah, it's been used, but you know, it doesn't matter if it's really, if that's okay, because I can clean it up. Let's see how bad it is. Okay, so that's just that. So it's actually not bad. Yeah, I think I can just go ahead and um, give this a good cleaning. It's only on one side anyways, and I'm sure this has got the instructions on how to do it. So this is going to be really good for making my own backgrounds. If I want to do that, like for ATC cards, I could just take one whole sheet and just um, do this. I have, I actually have the rollers, believe it or not. I've had them for a very long time because um, I got them from Tuesday morning and they were super cheap. But I, like I said, I just never got around to getting the actual plate. So, um, so you would just basically just take um, acrylic paint. You can just put drops of it around. And, you know, you can put different colors and then you would just use the roller and just layer the paint. And then um, you can use like these, uh, gosh, what do you call these? I can't even think of the name of them, but I have some of them. You can use those to create like a pattern, you know, for texture. And then you would just lay the actual um, paper down onto the surface, smooth it out, and then you'll end up with that right there as the end result. Like I said, it's really great for, um, you know, for backgrounds. So easy cleanup. Yeah, it's just if they used acrylic paint, hopefully they did, then I can just use um, soap and water or it even says here hand sanitizer like Purell or baby wipes. Um, in fact, I have some baby wipes. Let me go and grab it right now. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I've got some baby wipes here. I bought these from Target probably more than a month ago. Uh, these were always my favorite baby wipes to use for cleaning up the stamps. Uh, the reason why I like these for one, I hope these are the textured one. Oh, they're not. I don't know. I guess Target doesn't sell them anymore because when my nieces were babies, my sister used to buy the baby wipes from there and it was always the Target brand. And they were, um, there was always like a textured one. I don't know if they sell anymore. I, I think I was looking, but I just didn't see it. So... I guess those are the ones that I picked. Ugh. Yep, it's coming off. See, just got to rub it. So I'm just going to clean this up and it'll be good to go. Hopefully that yellow will come off. I don't see it coming off. Maybe it's on the other side. I'm going to have to check. See, so I just going to, maybe what I'll just use is hand sanitizer because I have plenty of that and I can really lay it down. Yeah, the yellow is on the other side. So I'm going to give this a good cleaning and then um, maybe try it out tonight after uh, I get back from the gym and then showered. So, okay, 
I better stop. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and just keep on cleaning it. Okay, so let's put this back because this, the only thing is like, where am I going to store this? Because it is huge. I mean, I didn't want to get like a 12 by 14, probably the next size down. I, I know there's only two sizes. I just don't know what the other size is. Um, that was all I really needed to get. Ugh. Okay, so I've got to figure out where to store that. I'm going to put this here for now on the side. Okay, next item. I got another one of these 1920s flappers um, costume thingies. But this one I'm actually going to keep. I've given Clarissa many of these sets before. Um, and I've already tried it out. I actually sent her a picture of me wearing it just to show. But I like this because when I looked at it, it had the elastic band. And I loved this design. Now, I will show you where probably the reason why they had returned it. And I don't know if you can already see it. It's right here. This part looks like it broke off. And it's just, I think I can glue it back. So I will glue that part back in. But it's it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous head, you know, headset. I kind of wish it wasn't black because my hair is super black. And the feathers kind of like just blend in with my short pixie hair but when I tried this on it looked so nice so I'm gonna keep this because I don't actually I don't have any and um you know like when I'm working at my next job for Halloween I mean I could just wear that for Halloween you know it came with this necklace which is different from the ones that I normally um find usually it's just like an actual like necklace brooch type of thing but this one you just um so it's long you probably just loop it around your neck, that type of deal. Okay. And then, and so that makes it easy and more comfortable, I think, to wear. Um, you can adjust the length and how you want to wear it. And then it also came with the gloves. And I tried the gloves on and they're, because I'm short, I have shorter arms. They came, they were already, this goes all the way up past my elbow, like almost to like um, my bicep. So yeah, so it was a really, you know, good find um, for $1. So like I said, I'm going to try to glue that just one little broken piece and it should be good to go. Yeah, it's not that often that I can find these kind of sets where the... Um, headdress or whatever you want to call this fits comfortably on me because I don't have the hair to actually hold it so since my hair is so much more shorter so let's go ahead and put this away I'm just gonna put that in there I'll put that up there. this in the bag later on and then I found this I have not opened it yet this was actually the first thing that I picked up. So the sticker was covered. So this is what I hate about um, these resellers. They'll cover up the actual Amazon um, sticker, reseller, or liquidator, whatever you want to call it. So then you can't see what the actual description is that's on here to be able to look it up on Amazon. See, it's so covered up. So anyways... It looks like it is like really, really thick um, cardstock, or I'm not sure what you call it. Hold on. Let me just pull one out. I think you could also use this for like making your own um, books, like the or journals, you know, like the, um, the, not the spine, but the cover itself. Of the book oh my gosh it is in there so tight that I'm having a hard time trying to pull it out and I don't want to okay I'm just gonna have to because this is really on see I can't even but it's very very thick cardboard so I think there's probably oh I don't think that's 50 sheet that's got to be a hundred but this is always good to have for backing stuff. So that's the reason why I went ahead and got it for just $1. Okay, sorry if that was moving the camera because it's probably a touch. I've got my um, microphone stand, which the camera is on, 
pushed up all the way against the um, the table. So this one right here, um, I found now my niece that has her birthday next month was standing next to me when I found it. And she asked me what it was. She had, she was actually the one that found it and then handed it to me. And I told her that this is a pencil or pen case. So, um, you know, like at the height of like the whole coloring pencil, <laughs> um, fad or trend or whatever. I remember these were going for a lot on Amazon and I always see these in the bin stores, you know, even for a dollar. I don't know how many this holds. I'll have to look it up on, um, Amazon and see how much it also goes for. But I told her, you know, what it was for and said, I did remind her that I think I gave her a colored pencil set a couple of years ago. And she said she's just been storing it in a box. But I said, this is actually going to be prettier because then you can store it in on your shelf, you know, with the books. So I asked her, oh, there is a mark right there, but that's okay. I asked her if she wanted this for her birthday as one of her gifts. And she said, yes. So I told her, well, put it in the cart. And she liked, I think what drew her was the cover because she liked this. She's like me. We both like purple. Um, so yeah, not a bad deal. I'm going to zip that up so it's not opening up all over the place. Okay. So this one, I grabbed it without really looking online um, about it. So it's Pentel, okay, and these are art brushes. I know there's got to be an open one in here because, yep, oh, no, I had my niece put the open one that we back in here. Hold on. What did she do with it? So there are 10 of them. Okay, well, let's see. Where is it? That's two, four, six, eight. Okay, there's number nine. Whoops. <laughs> Where's number 10? Did she put it back in the bag? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I thought when I bought this, it was the complete pen because this is what it looks like. This is what I saw on the back, okay? And I have some pencil, I think I have a pencil art brush somewhere. But what I didn't realize in, um, was that this was just the refill. So there is another part that you would um, screw on here that has the actual brush, kind of like a water coloring brush. Um, so this is just the ink. Great. <laughs> but at least I got the refills for $10. And the color is actually nice. When I looked on Amazon, this whole box goes for $24. You know, and the green is actually a nice green. I just have to get the brush. Um, and I think the pen itself that would have the brush is like $10. I'm not going to get that now. I'm just going to hold on to these for now. But um, I'll get that eventually. I'll just wait for the price to go down. That's ridiculous. $10 because I saw the other colors and even the black one was cheaper. You know, it was going for like $4.99 or something. So, and I only need just one. I don't need a whole mess load of brushes. I just need one brush to fit all of these refills. So yeah, got that. Let's see what else I got here. I didn't get a lot this time. Um, I was just being a little bit more picky as to what I was going to pick up. Um, because lately I have been picking up a lot of stuff from the bin stores. And now that there's only two left, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want my pile to keep on growing, ex you know, exponentially fast. All right. So then these are the last two items and they're the same thing. Okay. I've picked up these before. That's why I knew what the boxes were when I saw them. So this is the one that I had already opened. It is a wax seal set. Yes, I got the whole set for $1. So this one looks like it's a reindeer. Okay. And it's, you know, I'm glad that it came with the actual handle, but I have plenty of handles. Um, so it's a reindeer. And then, so here's the one that's unopened. This is how it came. Now, the reason why these were just open is because I, people ripped it open basically. So you can see right here, this one, this one was tied and they just ripped it open. So I can, you know, probably tape or glue that back. So at least it'll, it'll stay closed. So here are the different, um, wax seals. So we have, looks like the sun, the sun with a sword. 
and then uh, I think that is a like an octopus or a squid. Then you have, I'm not sure. Some of these I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to use wax to lay it down because I ha can't really make out what that is. And then we've got, what is this? I'm not sure either. There we go. Oh, wow. Actually, I think this is, um, is this a set of Game of Thrones? Because that looks, doesn't that look like the Stark um, wolf? The dire wolf? Yeah. Holy crap. Is this the dragon? <gasps> Three-headed it is. Oh my God, I got the Game of Thrones. That is hilarious because I've actually wanted to get these, but never got around to getting them. Um, Now I'm trying to remember what house this one is for. And then, or was, yeah, that was a three-headed dragon. So then this has to be Lannister because that looks like that's the lion. It is, that's the lion. And then this one, eagle. Who is the eagle? Um, signal. I can't remember. But yeah. And then um, this one right here, who was the, who had the sigil of, what is it? The, it's the stag, right? I'm going to have to go look. That is hilarious. <laughs> These are Game of Thrones. Oh my God. That's too funny. Well, I have two sets, so I can gift one to somebody that's like a massive Game of Thrones fan. Yeah, these didn't these did not have any stickers or anything like that on them. So I'm gonna have to look that up on Amazon. That's crazy. That's just too funny. Cause I wanted I was looking for the Stark one um separately on I think it was a while back on Temu, probably. And I couldn't find it. I think I found it on AliExpress, but I didn't really have enough of my cart at the time to make, you know, to get the free shipping. And then when I was ordering from there, I took it out because there were other stuff that I wanted more of because I was trying to keep everything under $20. So yeah, I'm glad I got a whole set <laughs> rather than two sets. All right. So that's my haul for the bin store this week. All right. I hope you guys are having a great week and a great day. Bye.